it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week. And this week, we're in the huge city of Houston for a huge sandwich at a great barbecue place. We're at Gatlin's. On the northwest side of H-Town, you'll get a whiff of Gatlin's coming out of the Oak Forest neighborhood. That smell of smoky, seasoned to perfection barbecue is so good that even all the gold in California couldn't keep you away. We hit the jackpot. It's pure heaven. It's amazing. Out of body experience. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. We do enough stuff to keep you on your toes. Greg Gatlin got things started at his namesake restaurant in 2010. And in case you're wondering, I get that question. Like, Are you guys related to Gatlin Rose? I was like, which ones? All right. <laughs> he is related to his parents, Henry and Mary, though. They're on hand every day. And when you arrive, you immediately feel like family. When it started, it was me, my dad, and my mom. Dad and I used to come on separate shifts in the middle of the night. He would he would come in the middle of the night. Then I would come. I would get here probably over there, probably about 4:30. And then he would come in right about 5.30 right after he took his nap. And then we were doing that every single day. Wow. Right now, I think it's crazy, but then it was just the norm. Greg wasn't always a barbecue man. He majored in economics and management. And leading up to opening Gatlin's, he was in commercial real estate. We were going out and we were eating. You know, you're, you're entertaining people, you're traveling. And I was like, I can cook better than some of the stuff that I'm eating. That's when Greg got to work. We used to barbecue all the time. Like it was, it was, it was just this thing. So my dad, my uncle, uh, my great uncles and stuff, we at all the family reunions, church functions, uh, they would all barbecue. So it was one thing we, we kind of knew how to do already. It was just, hey, how do you put your stamp on kind of what you do? So Greg crafted his barbecue to combine flavors from all over the region and was one of the first craft barbecue companies in the state. The more things change, the more they stay the same. So the principles and the basics are always the same, but you know, you're always looking to put your spin or try to see what kind of what's different out there. Uh, is, is there a different taste? Is there a different way for us to do this? Here, you'll find eight smoked meats and over a dozen sides to choose from. Ooh. There's 14 different sides. Wow, 14? Yeah. There's 14 sides. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So don't, it, don't make us go through all those. Right. <laughs> I'm from Louisiana. So when I can see collard greens, barbecue, and dirty rice all on the same menu, it's gotta be a good place. It's a unique taste. Um, I mean, I really can't explain it, but it's just a, it's just a very unique taste, man. And uh, it's something that I love from the beginning. Surprisingly, Greg wanted to feature a sandwich. Actually, two of them. So who am I to turn them down? We start with breakfast. The brisket biscuit is a staple, which is gonna be your, your cat head biscuit right there. You got your smoked brisket. Uh, grilled onions and jalapenos, and uh, top that with some cheese, and it'll be all the way. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Sounds amazing. Yeah, it's a bit too. It's the fat kid in it. <laughs> <laughs> Says the skinny guy. Right. <laughs> no. Executive chef Michelle Wallace got the big old biscuit toasted on the flat top, while pickled jalapenos and onions also get grilled up. Throw in an egg and some brisket, and we're cooking. You throw in brisket, onions, jalapenos. I'm yeah. thinking lunch, but yeah. you throw in an egg, and that's, yeah. now it's breakfast. Greg stirs things up with a condiment that complements the sandwich completely. This is the secret weapon right here. This is our bacon jam. Okay, very nice. So we that do is that. the most bacony bacon jam I've oh ever seen. God. Oh my god, it's so so much bacon in here. We got your jelly and stuff in there. Throw on cheese and slap it together, and you've got brisket biscuit. We're not done yet. Greg also got things started on a smoked pastrami sandwich. We grind and smoke our own pastrami. Nice. It's about a nine day process, depending on the size of the brisket. Nice. Um, yeah, all the spices we toast off, get them in the brine, sit them in the uh, walk in for about a good nine days. The thinly sliced beef gets warmed up with marble rye bread. And the Creole mustard made in house, mixed in with sauerkraut, is spread on. Swiss cheese is melted on top while a slice of barbecue turkey is added for good measure. Well, it's time to sit down with some sizable sandwiches and uh, you gotta start with breakfast. First things first, throw on some of that bacon jam. Oh yeah, that looks ridiculous. Then the sandwich gets sloppy. Oh boy, this is gonna be messy. Did you just see the egg burst? <laughs> yeah. All right, time to gracefully go in for a bite. I don't know if biscuits were made to hold in this much stuff. <laughs> 
one thing for sure, it sure feels like love. Breakfast sandwiches are not supposed to be this good. Woohoo! Every single thing that's in this sandwich, it smacks you in the face. You don't even taste jalapenos. That brisket is so good, it just goes with everything. I'd put this one in the top five of barbecue places that I've tried in Texas. Well, breakfast is a no-brainer. On to the pastrami. Once again, a Gatlin has put together a hit. The brisket and turkey has amazing flavor, but that Creole mustard with the sauerkraut in it, oh, wow. There's a number of barbecue places throughout the city, uh, but in my opinion, uh, this is the barbecue spot. To say the brisket is tender would be an understatement. I mean, how many times have you been eating a pastrami sandwich and had to do the pull away while picking? This, right off. It's right up there with Franklin's, but the lines aren't quite as long. <laughs> yes. Not yet, at least, you know? Next time we're heading to Houston, I'll definitely be singing One Day Closer to You, because coming to Gatlin's Barbecue for the brisket biscuit and the pastrami sandwich, that's why we're the stop on the Texas bucket list. You will not be disappointed. Everyone that I brought that I brought in and everyone that I've directed to come here, uh, they have not been disappointed. It's a passion for sure.